what's up guys welcome back again to my youtube channel this is your girl mikey welcome back to my world today we are going to be doing or we are going to be cooking corn chaff so these are the stuffs i bought already we've got our beans this is the first time i'm actually using this kind of beans to prepare corn chaff but i think it's going to come out well so um this is my corn you guys can see they sell it 2 euro 50 in the shop and i think it's same price with i ah, know the beans is three euro um 95 so right now it's time for me to wash my beans wash my corn and then boil it our corn is almost ready now that it's almost ready i'm going to add in some salt you guys know we are using dry corn it's not fresh corn which you'll be like oh it's sweet already so i'm going to add in some salt and then i'm also going to put in some little kanwang in here just because i want it to really be like it should be soft it should have this soft feeling when eating it okay but it's not like it can be soft without kanwang but I'm just going to be doing that now and I'm going to be showing you guys the quantity which I'm going to be putting. So this is just a little quantity of kanwan which I'm going to put there. Our beans is ready so I'm still going to put in some little salt and we need our beans to have some taste okay before adding in the main ingredients while cooking it so when cooking my corn chaff i always want everything to be 50 50 so my corn has to be the same quantity with my beans while other people let's say they'll go for 60 40 or 70 30 you get so i'm just going to let it boil let's say for about five minutes again and then i can take it out and we can start so i'm quickly going to introduce my ingredients to you guys so like we all know there is no way you cook something like beans or corn chaff without meat inside so for this one i'm going to be using some gizzard so I'm just going to boil the gizzard, fry them and put them in, into the corn chaff. We've got a tomato yam. This is the quantity of tomato I'm going to be using. And we're also going to be using this maggi. And then I've got some cubes here too. This cubes. Cubes. So yeah, we've also got some ginger, garlic, pepper, onion and some febe, country onion. That's how we call it in Cameroon. So... These are the things which I'm going to grind and then pour into a tomato. We all know there is no corn chaff without palm oil. Okay, so I'm going to be using this palm oil like I explained in my previous video that this one is going to sink into the corn chaff. And then when frying my onion, guys, I'm going to be using this because this is not going to sink into the, the, the corn chaff. It's just going to float on it then we've got our salt also which we are going to be using so basically these are our ingredients there is my gizzard boiling and here is my tomato i'm cooking and need all that sardis out completely out <laughs> you guys can see my tomato is dry so i'm just going to add in first some granite oil going to mix it you guys my pot was even burning here now i'm going to be adding in all my ginger garlic onion febe everything i grind everything i showed you everything i showed you guys i'm just going to be adding it in there it's already blended i hope you guys i didn't have to show you guys how i'm blending the stuff there is nobody here who doesn't know how to blend all of that okay so i'm just going to let my spice boil a little bit and then i'm going to add in my corn and beans so while i'm letting my spices boil i'm here trying to fry the gizzard which i'm going to put in my corn chop it's time to add a um, maggi cube Baby Bemo. So 
this is our corn I'm just going to throw some water on it like just rinsing it a little bit just rinsing and then I'm just going to put it first so I always put my corn first before putting in my beans because you guys know corn is harder than beans Here is our beans also. I'm going to be rinsing it too. Okay, like that. You guys ask your sister. Eh? For how many people am I cooking this pot, this big pot of corn chaff for? Ask me. My corn chaff is so full, I don't even know, I don't have a bigger pot. So it's time for me to add in my palm oil. So this is where that African taste start coming. When you put in your, your palm oil. To be adding in my pink fish. You guys see why I said I like this crayfish. You guys can see how tiny it looks. Guys, what am I going to do? My corn chaff is full until. So you guys, here is a corn chaff. It's ready. You guys know I cooked it and it was too much. I cooked it in here but it was really full so I had to put them in two pots you can see that I told you guys your girl has got a problem I don't know how to cook small food okay my eyes are always big so thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed watching and yeah I'll see you guys in my next one bye bye you all are invited Come and chop, come chop. <laughs>